and his opponent standing across the cage. This man is representing Manchester Predators. Manchester Predators, Faz Ali, getting ready to take on UTC Blackpool's Reese Saunders. Saunders in the long to Tommy Trunks. Faz Ali in the booster, black and red. Look of uh, Nicholas Backstrom there. A little bit. I've, well, I've seen, we've seen Faz a number of times, and I, I like this kid. He's aggressive, skilled. Uh, Saunders using his reach well there, popping the jab off. He's a taller man. Oh, good close the distance there from Ali, though. Sticks his man on the fence. He's got a good position there to try and maybe get a high crotch or pull the leg out for the single. In on the double if he can cross the hands together as well. Nice head positioning there. He's uh, dropping down to the legs, but Son is doing the right things. He's trying to dig for an underhook and keep his man high away from his hips. Good takedown defense on display here. Yeah, spreading the legs. You know, once Ali's able to get his uh, his fingers together, he's got a lot more strength from there to be able to pull his uh, his opponent's hips away from the mat. So Saunders will, doing the right things and gets his back off the fence, which is everything you're working towards when you're there. And now he can try and disengage or look for a takedown of his own. You can't see the position of his hands. So I just just leaning, pushing Faz against the cage now. Yeah, he doesn't look like he's trying to um, grip for a takedown as much as... Oh, I say that and then he goes. It looked like he was maybe trying to get the grips to disengage. But Faz manages to turn him, sticks his back on the fence again. You get a feeling this is going to be one of those fights that's a, a real war of attrition. Hey, a good use of the, under, the underhook there to turn him as well. Sort of does look comfortable there, good hips, good feet, good base. And that's why uh, Ali's struggling. Again, good easy. He uses the underhook well to peel him up. Ali, good head position there. That could set up a single or a high crotch on the opposite side. See, Faz is happy to work against the cage, but the referee not happy with the lack of uh, lack of action separates him, and here we go again. Yeah, really hard position to work from that. There's actually lots going on, but. I mean, it's not that entertaining purely from a fan perspective, but... Oh, nice shots there from Saunders, forces the shot from Ali again. Stuffs his man on the fence. This time head lower. He can clasp nice. his hands, yeah. and there he goes. Under good takedown oh. defence there, though. Again, yeah. Reese, good balance. Great balance there. It looked as if he was going for a ride. Uh, Ali sucked the hips in, but... Reese just able to realign himself there. Really nice, and again, work, trying to work... The undercut break the grip of Ali. There it is, he's up yeah, and down. Nice, that's the takedown and it landed. Finally got it with a heavy slam. And now let's see, as Ali's worked hard to get this position. Can he work for it? 10 seconds Ten. left in the round. Needs to do something to make an impact. And he just looks like he's content to hang it out. Didn't try to throw a shot, the same position. Held the position, might be enough to steal in the round. Yeah, tight round, uh, one way or the other, very tight round. And uh, Ali just, in the first round, you know, he's been tenacious in looking for the takedown, sticking his man on the fence. Finally gets this reward of like 15 seconds from the end. Uh, but with not a lot of time to work, unfortunately. But that's a credit to Saunders there. Uh, Really good takedown defense, but he just needs to try and keep his fight in the middle of the cage. You know, use his footwork and not just be driven straight back, moving in linear lines like that. He's going to get forced back every time. Of course, the grinding round like that as well. We're going to check the uh, the cardio of these two amateurs as well. To keep pushing another round like that, and these guys are going to be tired. They ground pretty hard though. Ground. Is that even a word in MMA? Did I just make something up? They ground pretty hard. They embrace the ground. So round two, fairly even first round. Edge Ellie with the uh, late takedown potentially. Starts again. Ali 
And nice as he bounces around a little bit up on his toes. Yeah, he's definitely springier. And another good low kick. Uh, caught the caught the body kick there and drives Saunders into the fence. Now he's got time to work. Earlier takedown. Like you say, he caught the kick, barreled his man to the fence, and he's got the takedown nice and early now. But Saunders is going to work back up to his feet from there, it looks like. Using the cage well to help him get back up. Saunders gripping that wrist there, good wrist control. Just what that does, it stops um, Ali from clasping his own hands together and obviously dominating with a tighter body lock. There's a triangle from there, it's like a jumping triangle as well, if you can keep that wrist controlled. All right, I think we're starting to see game plan here because every chance you get, Ali looks for the single or the double, it looks to pump him on his back. There's a switch there for Saunders if he... He almost had it, but he didn't go for it. And that's allowed Ali to take him down again. I'd like to see him trying to assert his dominance a little bit more when he's on top. I don't think he's landed a punch on the ground yet in his three takedowns. But Saunders has been active off his back in trying to create space and get back up to his feet. Saunders throwing, a, throwing a, the guard up either, maybe trying to throw up that triangle out of, out of the blue if he gets the chance. But Ali posturing now. Pushing him to the side. Yeah, looking for that smash pass, get through that leg. He's got to be careful. Guy with gangle legs like that is always a threat of a triangle. There and... I mean, the other leg's stuck underneath the body, but if he can free that, then it could be dangerous. Ali will be aware not to let him get that opposite foot from out from underneath his hip. But this is good. I mean, Saunders could ride this out to try and get a stand-up by just um, keeping Ali's posture down. and but What does Ali need to do here? Because I've... Uh, just get his, pop his head out. <laughs> he needs to try and pass again. This is a dangerous position. I mean, he, he's still... He's got his hips in nice and tight, which is not allowing Saunders to free his leg. Saunders chopping over a few shots on the bottom. Nice, no, finally. There's the pass. Did well to bide his time there and take the pass. A triangle from the bottom. Inverted. And side control. Ali is going to pop his head out again. That is the danger when you've got your hand in between the legs. And again, you know, the guy with the long legs like that. They don't usually get a second attempt at throwing it up, though. It's a bit of a surprise attack. And once it's happened to you once, you're uh, savvy to it. Good hit. I thought he was maybe looking for the... Looking to pass again, but there's, 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 there's nothing. They content to us to hold position for the end of the round. It needs to be more aggressive from the top, I think, Faz. Yeah, you know, he's doing it with his top control to win the rounds. I would like to see him more aggressively hunting the finish, but at the same time, you know, he's felt how dangerous Saunders is. He's thrown up a triangle attempt there, uh, and when he gives his face, he gets back to his feet. So he's understandably wary of the threats that pose from the bottom. But yeah, he's, um, when he's had the dominant position, he has been content to just drop the hips, hold the position, and uh, you know get the timing on top. Okay, I think uh, probably an easier round for the judges to score is round two. Yeah, definitely. Saunders definitely not out of this though. No, you you get the feeling like with that triangle attempt group there that you know he could find something, but that one. Ali got the takedown early, and for the majority of the round, had his opponent on his back. Third and final round, getting ready to go underway. Faz Ali trying to rile up some of the crowd. Saunders and Ali engaged in the middle of the cage. You get the feeling Saunders really has to do something in this round. Another good low kick from Ali. Oh, look for the straight right and the knee as Ali shot in. But well, he's got his uh, hands clasped together, the fingers are clasped behind there. He should be able to finish this double. He can suck the hips away. Saunders with the little shots to the ribs. There's the takedown. Again, straight away, Saunders gets the, certainly his free leg up high, trying to control over the shoulder. Yeah, he's trying to stuff the wrist there, potentially for a triangle, but that's the leg that, again, is um, stuck underneath Ali's body. Be better off fishing for an underhook on the right-hand side and trying to get out that way, probably. 
He's got the space, straight up. we work from Saunders. And now he's straight in with the, straight in for the double leg attempt again. Yeah, he didn't miss a beat there. As soon as Saunders got up to his feet, Halley closed the distance again, pushed him straight on the fence. Saunders maybe looking to try and catch some sort of guillotine. So he yeah. just had to suck it out. And... Yeah, just, uh, I mean, just defending on the fence is not going to be enough at this point. So if you get into that kind of stalemate round, it's not going to work for Saunders. So it needs to just go for something, whether it's uh, a guillotine throwing his triangles up. Ali now got, a, got Saunders pushed against the cage. Well, Saunders still controlling the head, but Faz Ali comfortable in side control here. He says his, uh, Saunders works really hard to get back to the half guard. Yeah, he needs to get his feet on the hips, create some space again, try and get back up to his feet. The space is there, if he can push off, he might have to accept taking a shot or two. But he needs and to get back to his feet and work something. Faz going to work that ankle. Got the ankle, going to try and pick out the other foot. Put him down again. But again, very little, uh, very little in terms of aggression from the dominant positions that Faz has had. Yeah, he's controlling. He's, he's getting the fight where he wants it. He likes seeing when he progresses to these dominant positions. Uh, be a little bit more active, looking for something. He's trying to scoop, get under the hips again. Good balance from Saunders again. You know, at this point, you could understand Saunders getting uh, downhearted a little bit and accepting these takedowns a little bit easier, but he's still fighting every takedown with everything that he's got. Yeah. Good balance again. Great balance. But, but Faz just relentlessly looking for it. Keeps those hands clapped, trying to get under the hips. Yeah, and that's an energy intensive style. Ali must be getting tired now, but 10 seconds from the end. Saunders looks for a few shots to the body. But I don't think it's going to be enough. Uh, no matter how you cut it, you don't want to be the fighter with the back against the cage. That's, I think yeah. that's probably the difference in this fight is the uh, the control that Faz. Yeah, time spent with uh, your back on the fence and your back on the mat is uh, never really going to go in your favour. Ali, good good wrestling there. He just outworked his man a little bit. Saunders had his success here and there, but Ali's just outworked him, out wrestled him. You think he'll get the nod here? You think he'd get the nod, yeah. And uh, a pretty good night for the Manchester Predators if that's the case so far.